Oh wow. Oh what the heck? Yeah, I can't. This is the DJI Pocket 3. It's essentially a camera, gimbal, monitor, and action camera all in one package. And this camera actually has some unique abilities that we're gonna use to shoot a video in the style of Grand Theft Auto 5. You know that like really high video game angle? Yeah, that one. But in order to pull it off, we need to make some minor modifications to the camera. There we go. Extend it out and then you can throw the phone. Now I have visual on the phone screen there. Camera at the end of the pole. Perfect. This is crazy. <laughs> this is gonna look so good. Okay, it's time to get shooting. For this sequence, I'm gonna be the one holding the camera. Steven's gonna be the one that I'm filming. And we called on our buddy Logan here to help with BTS. So he's gonna be holding you guys. Yeah. Hopefully he can get some good angles. So don't hopefully, screw, don't screw up. <laughs> Long pressure. Okay, let's just do a quick little test of you walking and we'll just see how it looks. Go for it. On this shot. Nice. That looks good. I gotta watch out for the tree though. There's trees in the way. Oh my god. God, my arms are getting tired. Well, let's see what that looks like. Oh wow, that looks so good. Awesome, okay, we definitely got it, that was awesome. I'm actually very impressed with this thing. Coming from someone who uses professional cameras every single day for their living, it's actually really refreshing using something that makes it really easy to get great looking footage. The first thing you'll probably notice about this thing is its form factor. It's essentially like a mini gimbal that fits in your pocket because that's exactly what it is. That's the name Pocket 3. This thing at its smallest is 5.5 inches tall as well as 1.25 inches across, which makes it super easy to slip into your camera bag or basically any bag that you want. Also, when you turn off the gimbal, the lens of the camera actually protects itself by using magnets and burying itself into the arm of the stabilizer. This way, you don't have to worry about the camera flopping around and the lens getting scratched. Okay, so for the next scene of our little sequence that we're making here, we're actually going to be doing a carjacking because we're gonna try and keep this similar to GTA 5. So Steven's car's right down there. He's got his little hook unlocking Slim Jim thing here. And uh, I'm just gonna record him doing that. And then he's gonna kind of peel out in the car. So we'll see how it looks. just took our spot. Okay, we're just reviewing the shot here. I think we might have got it. Oh, what the heck? Yeah, cool, huh? It looks <laughs> so good. Yeah. yeah, we got it. The Pocket 3 also comes with a whole load of accessories, like ND filters, it comes with a battery grip that gives you more juice, it also comes with a tripod, and also you can get a black mist filter and a wide angle lens to help you get different looking footage. And it all fits into this small compact bag so you can keep everything neat and tidy. When it comes to usability, this thing is pretty slick. To turn it on, all you have to do is flip the screen out and it automatically instantly comes on. And this thing behaves exactly like the DJI Ronin gimbal. If you have experience with that, you know exactly how to use this thing already. The camera movements are basically the exact same. And on the Ronin, when you double click the trigger, it recenters. And on this, all you have to do is double click the joystick and it does the same thing. I actually recorded the first time that I discovered this feature by accident. Oh, sorry. Oh yeah, oh, this works exactly like the Ronin. So to reset the gimbal, all you have to do is double hit the joystick, but if you hold down the joystick, it locks off the camera so you can actually move around without the camera moving. As well as if you triple click the joystick, it turns the camera around into selfie mode. Another thing that I'm very impressed with is how stable the gimbal is. I did a test where I ran with this thing at full sprint just to see how smooth the gimbal would be. <laughs> Yeah, this thing is crazy. The Pocket 3 can also very easily shoot portrait video, which makes it awesome for filming short form content. All you have to do is flip the screen around into portrait mode, and when you do that, it automatically goes into portrait shooting. That's gonna be awesome. <laughs> yeah. Oh, oh yeah, oh yeah. Might only have one or two takes of this before we get in trouble. Okay. 
Let's go. No, no, keep going, keep going. We're, we're doing this. You gotta get closer. You gotta, you gotta get closer if we can. Okay, we're good. That was really good. I think we might have got it. That looks great. Oh yeah, that looks yeah. so good. This little camera is actually loaded with a couple smart features which make it really easy to film with, especially when you're filming yourself. So my favorite is actually called Active Track, which if you've used DJI drones in the past, they also have Active Track and this thing performs the exact same. All you have to do is basically just double tap on your subject on the screen. So in this case, my face, and it will come up with a little green box and it'll start tracking it and it'll keep it in the center of the frame. So no matter where I move, this thing will follow me and you can even see this giant mess in the background. There's also a companion app for your smartphone so you can fully control the camera of this thing as well as get a live view of what your camera is seeing. So when we were filming our video game sequence, this was really handy because I could mount the phone at the bottom of the pole and I could actually see what the Pocket 3 was seeing when it's at the top of the pole. Okay, so we have just come out to the tennis courts now and Steven's gonna be doing a bit of tennis. This is just gonna be an activity that we're gonna do in this video game style. I've got my pole and we're ready to go. So let's start. Three, two, one, action. That looks great. That looks awesome. <laughs> okay, cool. Another thing that's pretty good about this camera is the low light. We took this thing out one night and just recorded us walking around downtown with some lights that were just ambient and it looked pretty good. Also, you can get a black mist filter that you can just throw on there and it gives you that bloomed mist effect, which is pretty cool to see from a small camera like this and allows you to get some pretty stylistic shots. The last thing I wanna to touch on is the video quality of this camera. It can shoot up to 4K at 60 FPS when in landscape mode, and it shoots up to 3K in portrait mode. Another big improvement is that this thing also shoots in 10-bit D-Log color profile, which means you can actually go pretty hard with the color grading, and it looks great. And to be completely honest, I am very impressed with the quality that you get out of this tiny little thing. Uh, about six years ago, we actually made another video where we tried to make a Grand Theft Auto in real life type video Video. and for that we used the original DJI Osmo and comparing that footage to the Pocket 3 footage, the Pocket 3 looks much, much better. Anyways, with that being said, it's now time to show you guys the final sequence. But before we do that shameless plug here, we actually just released our own LUT pack and these are LUTs that we've used forever to color grade basically all of our videos. So if you wanna check them out, they're gonna be linked in the description down below. We even also use them to color grade this Pocket 3 video. So if you like that, again, check them out down below. And with that being said, here is Grand Theft Auto V in real life.